What's up, Familia? Miranda here, back with another video. Now, today's video is a special one. It is one that has been highly requested by several of you, and I'm so happy to share with you guys now my movie collection. It's just going to be a little overview. Now, keep in mind, this is nowhere near the desired setup that I want, but this is literally like all the space that I have to work with, you guys. Um, you know, my house just isn't big enough. I don't have a room dedicated to just my movie collection that would be totally awesome that would be like a dream come true you guys to be able to just like have wall upon wall of movies and you know just like throwing some like recliners a sofa whatever and a big screen tv and just have it dedicated to my movies decorate it how I want and whatnot but I don't have that <laughs> um hopefully one day but like I said, for now, this is what I am working with, you guys. Um, the setup is not ideal. I would personally like to have everything vertical, not, you know, horizontal or whatever. But like I said, this is the space that I got in my living room to work with. Um, so this is what I have, this little area over here dedicated to my movies. Um, so all of this right here is DVDs. And then these are all Blu-rays, which I actually kind of redid this the other day because this middle shelf, I actually had some of the DVDs on it. And then this was like just a mix of everything. Um, but when I redid it, I, I wanted to do it because I have so many freaking Blu-rays now, which is insane to think because I honestly didn't really get much into the whole movie collecting um, until about like a couple years ago year and a half or so. Um, and so I've honestly come a long way. Like I've always been into movies, you know, growing up as a teen, I always uh, asked for movies for Christmas and I've kind of carried those over. And then back when I lived up in Washington, me and my husband, we used to go to like the pawn shops up there all the time and, uh, you know, get DVDs and stuff. I wasn't quite into the Blu-ray hype um, until probably about a year ago. So as you can see, um, all these Blu-rays have really come like... To the collection in like the past year or so it's crazy how far it's come but anywho you guys um i do need to invest in some shelving like i said because i want to get rid of this shelf i don't like it um it was free to me though so i'm just using that for the dvds but i'm slowly but surely trying to upgrade all of my dvds there at least the ones that have blu-ray releases and whatnot um, and then this one I recently got cost me 10 bucks from Facebook. And then the other one was free from when I worked in my trash job. Um, and then I, of course I have a few of the DVD shelves over there, which I'll show you in a bit. But anywho, you guys, this is what I'm working with. So bear with me. Um, I recently did a rough count of my collection. Um, that was counting spines, not necessarily like every movie, say like in the multi-feature packs and not counting any like seasons or series or anything like that like that and I was at a, like 2600 something um so with everything I've bought since then I'm probably at like 2700 but if I were to count say every title in the multi-feature packs I'd be well over 3k but I'm very very happy with my collection constantly adding to it even though I don't have the space you guys but anywho let's just go ahead and get into this I'll just kind of show you uh like row by row kind of what's there um just talk a little bit about it so first up these are all uh like horror suspense thriller dvds my blu-rays I already incorporated into you know the rest of my blu-rays and stuff um but this is all the dvds so there's actually like three stacks um all together you can see one two three and then these are just a few uh like multi-feature packs of dvds that i have um there but so that is all of like my uh horror thriller suspense kind of films there um and then <laughs> So it's all alphabetized, my DVDs here, but I kind of did it a little bit backwards. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about doing this. Let me tell you, alphabetizing your movies is a lot of work. 
The other day when I did the Blu-rays and DVDs, I literally spent like nine hours of my day <laughs> trying to alphabetize everything. Um, it may not be perfect. There could be a couple out of place, but you know, it is what it is. I did my best. Um, but so like I said, I kind of did this backwards. So like back there you have, you know, like XYZ, but then you have, you know, W. And then there's T's back there, and then it moves on to S and whatnot. And then these two, these are all alphabetized and everything. And then we have the second row here. It looks like there's N's, M's, J's. And then down here is like D, uh, C, B, A, and then anything that like starts with a number. Um, I do have just a little stack right here of ones that I have not yet incorporated because um, they're new to the collection. And then I do have some titles here in Spanish, like all my Cantinflas movies, a um, couple random ones, and then some um, like my Al Diablo con los Guapos series and the Rebelde series. And then over here, there's a stack here, and then you can kind of see there's a stack in the back. Those are all of my Christmas movies. Um, I don't have very many Blu-ray ones, so I need to do a lot of upgrading there. Um, but that's all my Christmas. And then again, these two shelves here are all Blu-rays, but up top there, um, that is actually all of my Disney Channel original movies, you guys. No, I am a huge fan of them, so I still have a few that I need to get that I know have a DVD release. I know some came out on VHS and they don't have a DVD or Blu-ray. I have literally one Blu-ray Disney Channel original and that's 16 Wishes there. Um, but yes, I am like a sucker for the Disney Channel originals and I want to try and get as many as I can. Um, and up there I have my little Ellen DeGeneres that I got from Ross. And then the Cheech and Chong, my sister picked those up for me, um, gave them to me for Christmas a few years back. They have a little Marge figure there. I think I got that one at Dollar Tree. And then we have a little Harley Quinn there. Um, put my little cactus bookends to good use. You guys know I'm a huge fan of cactuses. Uh, so I'm just gonna take you through like each row. Um, again, everything is alphabetized. Uh, started off with all the numbers here and it does, you know, go on to the A's and so on and so forth. This little Pez dispenser recently got in some friend mail from a friend. So again, I'm just gonna kind of quickly show you the titles here. Um, so like all my like live action Disney is here. None of the cartoons or anything are mixed in with these Blu-rays and stuff. I have those separate. Um, what else is here? Like I said, I, I incorporated all the horror, suspense, thriller, Blu-rays here. Um, and even titles that I haven't quite watched yet um, are in here. Things that I've even picked up at like Dollar Tree and stuff like that. They're all in here. Um, so yeah. And then I do also have just kind of a small stack here that is like new additions to the collection that I still need to uh, incorporate in, which I will be doing that very soon. All right, so continuing with the E's, the smaller shelf left off with E's and they finish up here, moving on to F's. Oh, and that's my little, uh, so at Goodwill, a while back I found the entire uh, like T.Y. Beanie set of the Alvin and the Chipmunks. So I have them up here on my shelves. Let me know who is your favorite chipmunk or chipette. So yeah, you guys, let me know how many titles you have in your collection. Uh, what's your favorite type of like movie to collect? Uh, like I said, I know everybody has theirs kind of separated DVD you know, Blu-rays, some people separate their, uh, like, uh, 4Ks and their steelbooks and whatnot, my little Vanellope figure, um, but I just kind of have everything incorporated, you guys, except for, like, the DVDs, obviously, like you saw, they're separated from the Blu-rays, my Baymax, down to the L's here,
and then the M's and N's. And then the O's start. And then we jump back to the smaller shelf and the O's continue and you move on to the P's. We have Q's and R's. The S's. Uh, more S's and then the T's start. And then they continue on the big shelf up here. We're getting into the U's and V's. W's. Um, still got more W's. I got a lot of W's. There's certain letters that I just have like a ton of uh, films in that letter. Got some X, Y, and Z. All right, and then here we're just kind of moving on. These are pretty much all just, I think they're all DVDs. Um, and it's just like random things. Like I have all of these like kind of like stand-up shows, like comedy shows and whatnot. Um, and then we kind of start getting into some seasons and stuff couple other random things um anything like kind of music related again just some random things in there um some more comedy and then we get into i have a couple seasons of that 70s show and these are all um just like series and whatnot um bernie mac boy meets world and stuff um and then also down here so criminal minds like I said i'm almost done with that i just need the 9 through 12 set and I will be done. Got some Will and Grace, Touched by an Angel, CSI Miami, Numbers. Um, of the second season of Ren and Stimpy, Sabrina. Starting to get that Grey's Anatomy and a uh, house, you can see. Um, I still need, what is it? The There's a couple more seasons. I think there's like two more seasons that I need and that's it. All right, so moving on to this section over here. Um, this is mostly like these two shelves are all cartoons and this whole stack is cartoons. Like I said, I just I don't have the space, you guys. And honestly, this stack, I kind of need to go through it. I know there's like, you know, DC, Marvel cartoons and stuff in there. Like my son doesn't even watch them, so I may just be getting rid of those. I'm not sure yet. Um, he does watch his like Transformers ones, but there's like Barbie and like Monster High and um, like My Little Pony and just a bunch of other just kind of really random titles in here as you can see. So like I said, I need to see about getting extra shelving like I said um, so that I can put like a big shelf here. And get all of these put on one. Um, and then so I have like all of my kids cartoons. Uh, Disney, DreamWorks, Pixar. All that stuff is over here. Um, this is just a little stack that didn't quite fit on the shelf. Um, but so we have all of these titles. This really bothers me. I need to see about getting the first hoodwink on Blu-ray. Um, that way it's consistent. Um, but so this is what is There's some missing from here. Because the kiddos have some movies in their room. Obviously. Um, this too, my copy of Beauty and the Beast, it is Blu-ray, but it's the one that it's in a DVD case, and I really hate those. I'm not a fan of them, um, so I need to see about getting it on just regular Blu-ray, like, um, so yeah. Um, and also that one surfs up too. I'm not sure if that one even has a Blu-ray release, but I need to look into that. Um, so we got these titles going as well. Um, I need to upgrade also my Lion King one and a half. And then some more over here. Um, so you can see I've started to upgrade my Ice Age. I just need to upgrade the first and the second. I'll be done with that. I actually have a, a set on Amazon that has the first and the second in it. So I'm just thinking about getting that. Um, and then I have my uh, Tinkerbell movies here for the kiddos. This too, I know that there is a set that it has like all of the Land Before Time movies. And since this kind of takes up a bunch of space, I want to maybe just invest in that um, so I can end up getting rid of those. But so 
again, more titles here, all cartoons. And then we kind of get into like all of the uh, Scooby-Doo here, which these are kind of mine. So once I kind of free up some of this, a lot of these things, like say the Barbie and, and like, you know, My Little's Pet Shop, um, like all the girly cartoons, I may use these shelves and just put them in the girls' room so that they have those movies like there in their room. Because, I mean, they're not really ones that I kind of like care to actually have like displayed out here. So I'm not too concerned about those. Um, but like Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, the kiddos don't really watch those. I do. Um, so those would stay out here. Got some like Curious George, Care Bears, said My Littlest Pet Shop and whatnot. Um, those are like all the girls, like I said, these fixtures, once I can free them up, then I definitely want to um, just kind of maybe put them in the kiddos' rooms and stuff so that they have easy access to them. Um, and then up here, this is just a random little pile, but it's like my Pirates of the Caribbean Harry Potter movies that I need to finish upgrading. That's kind of going to be one of my main focuses. Since I still need to upgrade like five of the Harry Potter movies, I honestly may just invest in the set. Um, I believe I actually found it on eBay for a decent price, so I may end up just doing that because I feel like trying to upgrade these may end up costing me the exact same amount that it would if I were to get the set because these were inexpensive here. I think I paid three for one of them and like a dollar for the other one. So, I mean, I didn't really invest too much there. And then Pirates of the Caribbean, I just need to invest or er, um, pick up the, what is that, the second and the third upgrade and I'll be done with that. So that shouldn't be too hard. All right, and then the last fixture over here, this is all of my multi-feature packs. There is a lot, you guys. So this is a little stack here that didn't quite fit, and then in here is all of my loose discs, which I hate, but I have them. Um, so yeah, but this is all multi-feature packs. There's like everything here, you guys. And it is almost all mostly like DVDs and stuff. But, like, the very bottom row, the very bottom row has some Blu-rays down there, which I think, honestly, most of them are, like, horror ones, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, you guys, that is everything. Ha, I lied, you guys. I'm forgetting the most important part. My snapper case collection. Um, so you guys know, snapper cases are like my guilty pleasure. Uh, everybody be loving steelbooks. I'm over here loving me some snapper cases. Um, I don't know what it is. I just find them kind of nostalgic, if you will. Um, and I don't know why, but I think they're cool. So uh, that's just me. That's my preference, but I do have all of my snapper cases up there, and they are alphabetized. Uh, none of the cartoon stuff, as you could see, was alphabetized there, you guys. So uh, that's something I also need to work on. But then again, that section is kind of hard, considering my kiddos come, and they're still little, so they're not going to know how to, like, put them back in the letter that they go in. So, um, you know, it is what it is. That's one section I may just have to leave like untouched for the alphabetizing and again I, need to, I don't know I hate that stack I need to go through it and just see what we're getting rid of what my son actually watches what my girls actually watch so yeah so that is it you guys that is a little overview of my collection here again I know it's not an ideal setup you guys may hate it and whatnot but you know what it's all good at the end of the day it's mine it's not yours I love it um, I love collecting movies. I love watching movies, you guys. Um, and there's just something so satisfying about being able to go to my collection and just pick out something to watch. Like, cause sometimes even on TV, there could be like a gazillion things on there. Um, or you could be in the mood to watch a certain movie and it's not even on one of the streaming platforms, but you have it in your collection. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, you guys, I don't know what it is, but I love it. I love my collection and I am just happy with it. Just need to invest in some shelving. <laughs> um, because this, if I can get another shelf like that big one there, I can put that there. I can get rid of that. And then if I could get another big shelf, then I could put that one over there and I would still be able to open my little 
you know, Harry Potter door over there, <laughs> the closet under the stairs. Uh, no, but, um, you know, there should be a big enough space there. And then even over here, I have this little space on this wall where I could possibly fit another shelf. Um, so that could also work out if I needed the extra space, I could just put a, like a random shelf there. So that's it, you guys. You came, you saw. That's my collection. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Join the family if you haven't. Bye, guys.